How you doing, guys? Good. Go ahead. You're our I last caller. To, uh, I hate to be the one that looks at everything that it's fake or a hoax, but uh, as far as the shooting goes yesterday, uh, I just with when it's the media covering something that happens within the media, it adds multiple layers of deception, and it seems to fit multiple agendas. But I just find it hard to believe that they didn't hear a six foot four, three hundred pound guy walking on a wood plank deck. And then the reaction from the woman uh, news reporter's boyfriend, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do an interview if my dog died that day, let alone my wife or my girlfriend. And I just wanted to know your comments on it. No, I mean, um, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, they've staged stuff before, so you, so it's not discrediting to question. Um, but this doesn't fit all their narratives. What do you think, Steve? Well, first of all, it was the statement from the shooter himself that he wants to generate a race war. It's it, and Alex again. I'm not wanting that, but the bottom line is they want that. It has been a plan of the Russians' plan, and I'm not blaming Russians. You know, they're just I, part of the globalist. Yeah, the bottom line is the globalist, and you've got Vladimir Putin, who, by the way, I respect in the sense that he's at least looking to uh, God as represented uh, by the uh, you know Russian Orthodox. Sure, you know Church. we're in trouble when Vladimir Putin sounds more liberty-based than who runs our country. It's amazing. Absolutely. Listen, Steve, we're out of time. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. I'm Alex Thanks, Jones. Alex. Thank you. Nolly News tonight, 7. 7.